Ignore for a second how red and swollen my lips are. I ended up using the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss and I feel like my lips have been slammed in a doorway. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Yes, I am definitely somebody who struggles with keeping my makeup on my face during the summer months. Um, I live in central Indiana. It's 100% humidity all of the time. We have very high, very hot temperatures and I really, really, really have an issue with keeping my makeup in place, especially since I have oily skin. So I thought making a video to help you all keep makeup on your face would be a really good idea. Yeah. And also I'm in the process of making like three other videos today and I have to do a base face so perfect timing All right, first of all, let me get my headband on Which is stained with foundation. So Love that for myself and for my channel And yes, I am sitting in a new location I'm trying a couple different things with backgrounds and lightings and lightings and everything else so let me know if this works for you guys down in the comments uh i just thought like the backlighting maybe when it looks so washed out i'm really having a hard time finding a filming location but the first thing that i do to try to keep my makeup on and looking good for as long as possible while it's trying to melt off and run away is i follow a skincare routine that addresses all of my personal skincare needs so i have oily skin i also have giant pores and then i also have maturing skin so i have to deal with lack of collagen wrinkles fine lines all that good that comes with aging and um, yeah by following a skincare routine I'm just making sure that my skin is at its absolute best health it's gonna keep it soft and moisturized and the more I'm washing my face and taking care of it and using my serums it's going to help keep like the oils and everything to, you know to back off and leave me alone if you're not following a skincare routine like click off this video and go look up the skincare routine because that's what you really need all right don't even think about trying to make your makeup last if you're not even taking care of your skin that's just my personal opinion. My second tip would be to try to make as much time pass as possible between doing your skincare and then putting on your makeup. And you wanna do this because you want all of those expensive serums and moisturizers and everything else to have the opportunity to absorb and sink into your skin and your skin can just drink up all that goodness. But if you go in too soon with a primer or a foundation, you're just gonna end up with a very goopy, very slimy, very disgusting mess and it's gonna be slipping and sliding all over the place. And and you haven't even stepped outside yet, okay? So think of it this way. The last product that you put on your face with your skincare, or you should be putting on your face with your skincare, is your cream moisturizer. So if you're going in with your primer and your foundation, they're just gonna be, you know, hanging out, mixing together, and not knowing who's who anymore, and nobody's gonna be doing the job they're supposed to do. So try to wait as long as possible. I recommend an hour, maybe 45 minutes. Um, I know that not all of you are like me and have no life and maybe you guys have like jobs and things to do So maybe you don't have time to wait an hour or 45 minutes So just if you can wait as long as possible, even if that's only 10 minutes That's 10 more minutes that your skin's gonna get the chance to like drink up the nutrients And your foundation is going to have that much of a better chance to stay in its lane and mind its own business Then tip number three would be to spray a setting spray straight on your face And what this is going to do is it is going to create a protective barrier in between your skin and your skincare products which hopefully you put on an hour ago and then also like your primers and your foundations and everything else and it just creates a nice base for you to start layering things on without intermixing everything and again making that disgusting goopy mess that we all want to avoid making one of the setting sprays i've really been loving is the pacifica crystal dew setting spray i don't even think you guys can see it because my noggin is in the way i I think it feels so good it smells really good and if I use it in this step I feel like it gives me a nice tacky base I don't know I just really like it, you guys all right and then my next tip is to go in with a primer that is not silicone based so read the ingredients and see if it's got silicone or dimethicone in it those primers are going to be more slippery they're not going to have as much tackiness and they're not going to set quite as well as like a water-based primer. And it's really tempting to use dimethicone-based primers simply because they're usually found in the pore filling and the line filling and the mattifying primers, which kind of sucks when you have giant pores like me and you think, oh, I have oily skin, so I'm gonna put this mattifying primer on. It doesn't work like that. If you think about it, dimethicone is a very slippery substance and so is your, so is your face oils. So you don't want, again, just to add oils or liquids on top of oils and liquids 
because you're gonna create, again, that gross, goopy mess. The primer that I'm loving right now is the Pacifica Crystal Primer. It's just illuminating and perfecting. It is a water-based, of course, it's vegan and cruelty-free, and I love it. It does kind of give me a shine, which I don't understand because I feel like putting foundation on top of illuminating primers does nothing. Um, and I am patting it on. I put two squirts, but I am patting it on because I feel like patting it gives it, again, more of that tackiness rather than giving it like a smooth feeling, like if I were to rub it in. Hopefully that makes sense. I try to let my primer set for like five or 10 minutes simply because I, again, want it to do the things that it needs to do. And it's not going to do those things if I go straight in with my foundation. The primer needs to kind of soak in, get tacky, and do its job. Then my next step, and I saw this, I think, who, I forget which YouTuber um, did this. And I was like, what, that doesn't make any sense. But then I tried it and I was like, holy cow, it does make sense. It does work to kind of set your primer and especially set the areas that you get most oily at is to take a setting powder. I'm using the Cody Airspun. This is in the translucent. I have the extra coverage because Target does not have the regular translucent powder, at least not my Target. I just get a teeny tiny fluffy brush. I get very little powder on the edge of my brush and I kind of dust it over very lightly, emphasis on very lightly, over the places that I get most oily and I have the biggest issue with my foundation stain. So it's gonna be the top of my lip and my chin a little bit on the edges of my nose, like right underneath my eyes. Obviously, my nose, my schnoz, and then my forehead. And I cannot emphasize enough, just a little bit of powder. I didn't believe in this step at first because I was like, okay, so you put down a primer, then you put down powder, and then you put down a liquid foundation. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, it sounds like you're gonna make glue. And I mean, I guess in essence, you kind of are because it's gonna make your foundation last, but it doesn't look like glue. And it sure as heck doesn't feel like glue. So then after my primer has had a chance to set and I've already like powdered the little bits of places that really need to be powdered, I go in with my liquid foundation. I do feel like liquid foundation is gonna be better than a cream foundation or a stick foundation. They just seem more moisturizing and if you already have oily skin, you don't wanna add more moisturizing products on top of those oils. This is my absolute favorite foundation of all time to use during the summer months. This is the Soap & Glory Kick-Ass All Day Wear 24 hour foundation. This stuff is freaking awesome. Not only is it long wear, but it's also sweat proof. And I have put this to the test. You guys saw in my video, I have put this to the test. And I have since put it to the test by wearing it outside, by going and taking care of horses in 100 degree weather with 100% humidity and also going to the gym. This stuff is the bomb. Go pick it up, I swear. The only thing is, they need a better shade range, okay? Soap and Glory, you need to go listen to Pure and you need to extend your shade range. And I put a very thin layer because that's what's gonna dry down a lot easier and look a lot more flawless. Okay, so after that is on my face, like I said, in a very, very thin layer, which already I feel like the coverage is pretty good, um, but I wanna put just a little bit more coverage on my face. So what I do is I wait a good 10 to 15 minutes in between layering my foundation, because if you think of it like putting on nail polish, and if you do that second coat too soon, you get, say it with me, a goopy mess. And I am only going to be applying it in the places that I feel like I need that extra coverage, which is usually like in my T-zone and my cheeks because I, I do have a lot of freckles and hyperpigmentation slash discoloration slash old lady lines. And I don't put a lot of foundation underneath my eyes or even on top of my eyes because that's where I'm gonna be putting my concealer and that's where I want the best coverage. And I don't want it to look cakey and thick. For my concealer today, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is probably my favorite. It's in Fair 02 and I'm not gonna use a ton of it. If I'm going to be battling the outside and all the gross humidity and heat, I really, 
don't put nearly as much of a layer on as if I'm gonna be like filming or um, yeah, just hanging out inside, doing absolutely nothing important. Now that I have my concealer on, I am gonna go in with, again, that loose powder, and I'm just gonna take the same damp beauty blender, I'm sorry, beauty sponge, it's a real technique sponge, okay? I don't own a beauty blender, I'm not about that. I'm going to press this in to where I just did concealer, and that is going to give me that extra reassurance that that stuff ain't moving. I'm looking very ghostly. I'm gonna go in very, very, very lightly and set the other areas that I have not set yet, but I'm using that same beauty sponge just to really press the powder in and really make my makeup just accept the fact that it's not allowed to move and it has to stay. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face really fast and I will come back to give you guys my final tip. I am back, I have got my full face on and yes, my eyes are a little bit traumatic and the reason is, well, if you wanna know why, go check out my BoxyCharm video. Um, if it's not posted yet, it is going to be posted soon, but go check it out and you will see how I created this eye and why it looks so dramatic. But for my final tip on how to make your makeup last and beat the heat during the summer months is to use the same setting spray. Well, you don't have to use the same setting spray, but use a setting spray on your face to just kind of shellac it all down and set it all so that you don't have to worry about oils popping through and things moving and I don't know, just think of it like when you you finish your hair and you don't want anything to move so you slap on some hairspray and you're like okay it's gonna last that's what setting spray does so that is all I have for you guys today those are all of my tips and tricks on how to get your makeup to last through the summer months and not have it slide around slip around and transfer on to literally everyone and everything around you please let me know if you guys have any other tips down below I will definitely be talking to you guys in the comments and yeah let me know what your favorite tip was let me know if any of them work for you or do not work for you and I will see you guys in my next video please make sure to like this video subscribe and turn on your turn on your notification bell and have a fantastic day